Hey, what's up? So this week's video is me shooting some HP5 about a month and a half ago, depending on when I upload this video. With that being said, I'm probably uploading this video two to three weeks after I'm actually recording this. So it feels a little weird to be speaking ahead of time, if that makes sense. Other than that, this video is a little short, much like the videos that are gonna be coming up in the next couple of weeks, and probably the video that I uploaded last week and the week before that. As always, I was using my Mamiya RB67 with my 65 millimeter lens, and if I'm being super honest, I'm really glad that I use a 65 millimeter lens in this video, simply because a lot of the scenes in the photos are very one point perspective. So I feel like a tighter lens would have not helped me in that case. As for the HP5, I did underexpose it by one stop simply to get a little more contrast in the shadows or overall. So yeah, with that being said, enjoy the photos and enjoy the video if you want to. On that same note, I have been wanting to shoot black and white again because it's been a while since I've done that. And I generally do like the way that my black and white photos come out. Not that anyone cares. As far as location goes, I am in downtown Brownsville, Texas, which tends to be a place that I don't like going often enough, simply because if you're alone, you're gonna be running into extra white person. And honestly, if you know me at all, I'm not a very social person and I don't like social interaction with people that I don't know. So yeah, you'll see a couple of photos of me taking photos of people. Not on purpose, but I did find myself in this sort of street photography mood, if you will. By no means am I a street photographer or a photographer at that. But uh, to be fair, I did find myself taking photos of some scenes that probably fit in that category of photography. But let's be real, I am using a brick of a camera, so it's not an ideal setup in terms of what I was going for for these photos. This is one of those photos that I was talking about in terms of me taking photos of people. For the record, these two women did not see me taking this photo, or at least I'm under the assumption that they didn't see me because they were facing away from me. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, this is just, I guess, somewhat common, or I don't wanna say common, I guess you, it's just not surprising if you see this downtown, which is fine. I just thought it made for an interesting composition. Not that it's a good composition, but I'm, I'm saying that I thought it would have been a good composition. Like I said in the beginning of the video, a lot of these photos are very one point perspective, which I am not a fan of. At first, I wasn't super stoked on taking these pictures or like me being in the scene taking the photo. I'm just not a humongous fan of one point perspective because it's a little boring if you have a series of photos that have the same perspective. Update, I have one frame left and I don't know what to take. I just took that little self-portrait type of thing, but I'm struggling to find one more shot. I also don't like taking a lot of head-on photos, but this photo is an exception, probably because I'm in the photo, but I thought this composition was pretty interesting at least considering that I'm framed in between the window, framed in between the rest of the building. I definitely would have taken more of these nonchalant portraits 
on glass throughout the streets but i only had one roll unfortunately so i only got this one unfortunately these were all the photos i was able to get on this roll and if i'm being honest i am kind of happy with these photos it's a different area for me well not different for me but it's a different area that i've never taken photos in and i do remember that i mentioned in a previous video that there was a location that i was going to shoot eventually and well this is that location downtown brownsville or at least like central downtown brownsville before I keep harping on the whole one point perspective, I'm not a big fan, but I do see some variation throughout the streets in terms of like me composing the photo differently. But a lot of these photos, if I'm being honest, are composed from left to right in that one point perspective. I'm pretty sure you noticed, but if you didn't notice, um, there's my two cents on my compositions to this video. That being said, I really do hope you enjoyed these photos and the video. Consider following me on Instagram, my ad is right here and here. And as always, the link is also in the description. Consider subscribing to the channel. Consider liking the video if you liked the video. Consider sharing this with your mom. And again, you know, definitely like the video if you did like the video. It helps me a lot. And for some reason, YouTube is favoring liked videos, at least in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, like the video if you liked it. Definitely consider tuning in next week. I'm going to be shooting this exact same location, this exact same day but with Portrait 800 and Portrait 400. If I don't upload it next week, I'll definitely be uploading that video sometime this month. Um, no guarantees, but it is the same location in color. But other than that, yeah, say bye.